All right, so here today we got some stuff to talk about. We are going to be jumping into this and going over some uh, some new stuff. So first, we got a new gem gift to go over, and then again, the freebie not to waste, and also one more thing just so you know, because this is the best time to start doing it as the new update comes out for global. So prep yourselves mentally, physically, and emotionally to get destroyed or win. I don't know, it's up to you. Today, let's jump into it. Again, like and subscribe. Thumbs up a ton. Let's hop over there. First thing is first, when you load up the game, just know that on global, you're going to get about 140 gems just like that in the mail. Uh, it should be 100, just separate. Correct, has the 100 uh, to thank you for like 5 million something in the community. Something. It's just a gift to say, please don't yell at us. We're sorry for a March uh, fest or... What one? Yeah, March Festival. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Um, but again, you know, it's good it gems. I, I want gems. You want gems. We want gems. In my opinion, we won. But again, there's also going to be another 35 gems or around 40 gems. Depends on how much they give. Um, given to us just because, again, the stream, they won something or because you did something. We all get 35 and then five because of the stream always gives it to us. So it's 140 gems as you log in. Not only that, they just announced yesterday a brand new gift for everyone on stream. We're trying to translate it. We couldn't get the idea. It said if you beat the floor, we get 30 gems. But it didn't verify if we had to beat the floor ourselves or if somebody beats it, some whale beats it. No, the answer is if some whale beats it, we get it. So on global, we just need one whale to beat it. Once that one whale beats it, we're all going to get 30 gems. Again, if JB players can do it, I'm hoping global can do it too. But yes, to commemorate the first clearing of the Japanese version, everyone will receive 30 more gems. That now ups your total to 170, plus the 120 free summons, plus the extra 150 gems. Oh my god, we're cooking. Absolutely cooking. Can't wait. Oh my god. And then final boss gems, and then the other gems also scattered through the update. There is a lot of gems in this update. Listen, I'm telling you. Don't miss out. Either save these gems for a collab, uh, save these gems for something, or spend these gems, boys. Be ready. You're going to be rich. You're going to feel like, dude, what do I do with these gems? But they did confirm it. Nice little gem gift here. And again, if we clear, uh, clear the squirrel, that's what we have to do. We then get it. Has JP paid out yet? That's probably what you're going to be asking. The answer is no. JP has not paid out yet. But JP will pay out. We just have to wait until the next update, I'm guessing, which is in a few days, and then we should get our gems. That's how they kind of do it. So uh, kind of expect it that way, but um, it's an extra 30 gems. So once Global beats it, you do it. And yes, somebody did beat it. There's the uh, the tweet right there. And uh, they defeated it with that team. You know, the, can I determine this? It's uh, Melly, uh, Liz, Ryan Rock, Merlin, and I think King. And I'm pretty sure they're the middle of the two are dead. So Liz is alive and... Melly's alive. <laughs> the other two didn't make it. But uh, yeah, that's the first ever person to clear it. So that's pretty cool. This was mentioned to the DevNotes, by the way. They promised us uh, this gift as a hype up thing. So I'll take it. I'll take it. On to the next topic. Let's hop over there. So on to the next one over here. First things first, just so you know, every single day for the next seven days, you're going to get a gift in the mail as soon as it launches for global. Over the course of these days, if you choose not to log in, you are making the biggest mistake of your life. What is the gift everyone is getting? Remember, you are getting your free Nidhogg Relic. Do not miss this. Literally, everyone's been begging for a Nidhogg Relic. We finally have it after, I think, like, maybe one and a half years or two years of the... Uh, I don't even know how long it's been, bro. When did Freya launch? That's when it's been. So however long Freya was... Um, I think it was before Freya, dude. What? I don't even know. It's been a while. Just, just go with it. It's been a while. One and a half years. Let's say that. I don't know. But it's been a while. Nidhogg finally got his free relic. Again, do not waste it. There's a lot of stuff here to pick. I will also include my little who to pick guide here. So again, who should you pick for this relic? There is a lot of good characters. First things first, in my opinion, Merlin is a great character. But is she the first one? Probably not. This over here, is it the first one? Probably not. This one over here is the first one? Pro no, 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 no. No, no, yes, no. Wait, no, no, I meant yes here, but you know what I mean. No, no, no. So the answer is, let me just quickly give it to you. The first relic I would pick is probably Freya. If you're running Freya on the team, then you need the Freya relic. Like, if you plan on using it, it does make the boss a lot easier. But if you're using, like, Margaret, if you're using, like, Liz, and you already have the perfect team, you don't require Freya, then you don't need to do it. I personally think it'll make your life easier just to farm everything, allowing Freya to exist and be the character. If, again, you're not running Freya team, this is pointless to you, so don't get this. But, again, if you are running Freya team, it makes your life easier. If you have Freya and you would like to run Freya team, in my opinion, it's one of the fastest teams, the fastest team. So, again, I would do it. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But remember, you always think of this like investing, right? You want to invest in a character that makes your life easier or, you know, you know, you know, gives you a big return on your investment, which she will, because she'll help you farm faster and get more things. Boom, smart. 
I don't know. This is not financial advice. <laughs> you know, do what you want. But again, that's there. On the second one, in my opinion, the second best relic has to be Freyr. Dude, that relic is just chef's kiss, bro. Literally make every other demonic beast a cakewalk. Literally make PvP a fun time. It's gonna be a relic to pick up. You're gonna need it. Get my boy Freya his relic. Freya and Freya, rather. Uh, both relics are just very good. So I would say if it's uh, if you're running Freya, go Freya. If you're not running Freya, go Freya. And then after that, go for, in my opinion, it's a very biased opinion. I would say at this degree, give me a second here, give me a second here. Um, okay, in my opinion, it's Merlin. Because Sin's team is making a huge comeback, plus you have Arthur, plus whatever. If you're running Sin's team, Merlin's relic is pretty nice, uh, nasty. It's pretty nice. So in my opinion, I would definitely go for, uh, for Merlin. So that's third. Um, beyond Merlin, I would say, my opinion, Melascula is a really good cheese relic because of, if you're trying to use this team, like if you plan on using this team in uh, the, what is that called? The uh, Hero Arena, right? This relic is kind of nasty and it actually really helps you. And it's also used for a lot of cheese stuff. It's a good relic, but you don't need it really. But I'm just, I'm offering it as like a, either the fourth spot or just, you know, an extra relic. But um, that's definitely on the list. It's a very good relic for cheesing. And if you're using this in Hero Arena or you want to, it's good for that. I would then go, probably if you're running human team, I went for Roxy just because it's a cool relic and I like it a lot. Um, and plus I use Roxy a lot. So you got that relic. Uh, beyond this, I can craft one more. I also craft the N because again, this DN gets it and this DN gets it. And it's a very powerful relic. So again, I would recommend highly to get this relic. This is, I should actually move this up on the list. Maybe, maybe after Merlin or like on the same tier as Merlin. It's a very good relic. And um, for a lot of content too, whether you're using this or not, it's a good character. So that's there, but uh, LV Melly's fallen off a lot. He's not used anymore, but LV Melly needs his relic. So if you want to go and make your LV Melly actually do something, you need that relic. Uh, both soldiers has fell off. Roger and Hell No. Um, yeah, Berserkus Rosa after that, and you're done. That's my opinion. I think that Liz's relic isn't that good. And plus, she's not the Liz you use anymore. So that's where I stand. I would say, again, number one has to be Freya. Later on, Freya. Later on, Merlin. Maybe Deanne. And then, again, Melaska is like a cheesy unit if you want to go and use that. Um, Roxy. And, yeah, that's my list. That's my list. Uh, that's there. The last topic for the video. Yes, they did, in fact, nerf all of Nidhogg. Everything here is nerfed. Uh, all the damage you'll be taking and everything there is basically now uh, subtracted by 10% or something like that. Um, he might take... What is it? Is it... Yeah, it's you take less damage. Or he takes more damage than one of the two. So keep this in mind. It's a very nice nerf. It's making this farming much easier. So you grab that relic. You now have a nerf on Nidhogg. You then farm your heart's content. You can now farm the last stage officially with the newest update, which means you can do this every single day, every single day, every single hour, every single 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And you can farm unlimitedly uh, and finish everything up. Basically, I'm going to do that now for the CC gains and the uh, other stuff. So it's quick. It's easy. It's fun. Uh, get it done with. The freebie is pretty good. 30 free gems now because of, again, the uh, scroll being cleared. The best freebie possible being a Nidhogg Relic after one year of waiting. Again, craft those characters as mentioned. Then again, Nidhogg also got nerfed here. So a lot of stuff happening in this update, which will make you uh, kind of enjoy it. Yes, the squirrel has released. But again, depends on if you actually want to try this. This thing's going to be hell. Uh, I have nine hours, but I will be trying the squirrel, seeing how that goes. And hopefully not losing uh, my sanity while doing it. But with that being said, that's what I got for you here today. Just a quick little video to go over everything. So you are aware of what's happening in the game. And yeah, nice gift, nice freebie, for like the best one in a while because we need a Nidhogg Relic. I'm begging for one. And nice uh, everything else. So the nerf's also pretty good. Let me tell you now, it's pretty good. It's going to make it much easier. Okay? Okay. Take care. Have fun. Peace out. That's been it for me. That's been it for me.